Oh, I'm sad. There we go. Hello, guys. I'm fixing stuff. Okay. Hello, guys. It's me, YouTube Rebel, and I actually have a somewhat of a setup. And by setup, I mean two um, dinner trays. I got this cheesy little mouse here, and I got my computer plugged in so it doesn't die on me. And today, we are going to be playing Shrinking Pains. So, wow, okay, thanks, um, <clears throat> computer. I'll put you over here behind me so you don't mess with me. Anyways, so today we're playing Shrinking Pains, and like I said, I'm gonna fix this again. Music's gonna stop. Okay, no, fine, be a jerk. And... I, if you didn't see, don't mind those noises. In my previous upload, um, Mirage, pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, um, I downloaded, not downloaded, but I put on my wish list 15 games. And this is the second one out of the 15 games I'm going to play. And I don't know, I'm going to try to do this all in one sitting, and if I can't, I will make another episode on this. But it is, I'm pretty sure, about anorexia. So if you are... Like, a little, what's the word? Um, what's the word? Anyways, if you're kind of like, sensitive, that's the word, there you go. If you're sensitive to a topic like these and you can't handle it, it's okay, you can exit now, I'm giving you a fair warning. Let's start. It also said there was some sexual stuff in here. So, partner reference. Ooh. Um... I don't know. Everyone. Who cares? I don't really care. Okay. Ooh, sorry! <laughs> did your ceiling... Uh, did your... Uh, uh, did your ceiling always look like that? Light slants from the bedroom window, falling in stripes across the sheets. You can feel Taylor waking, waking next to you. He yawns, stretching his limbs to fit the corners of the bed. His skin presses against yours, sweet in an accident before he lays a kiss on your shoulder. Good morning, love. You hear feet pad you hear feet pad across the floor as he leaves the room. <laughs> you lie in bed for another hour, checking your phone after all. You don't have you don't have anywhere to be until tonight. There are a few messages from Yuto, your best friend, and a handful of notifications from various social media. None of it holds your attention long. No new messages. Okay. Eventually, you pull yourself out of bed. It's harder than you remember it being. You join Taylor in the kitchen. He's at the counter making coffee. He's already dressed for work. Okay. Here we go. Oh! He has cute hair! <laughs> he looks like mine! How you feeling? I'm okay. Me too. You sure? You're not looking great. I am offended by this. Nah, I'm fine. He looks worried. His delicate features tighten their concern. He voids your eyes. Oh, oh, I feel bad. As long as you're sure. Would you like a coffee? Taylor asks and then immediately starts to make you one, leaving you little choice. You've learnt, you've learnt not to say no. It only makes him suspicious. You don't want him to make him. You don't want to make him worry. He chatters to fill the silence as he pulls the mug from the shelf, boils the kettle, kettle, stirs in too much sugar. Then he thinks you're not when you're not looking. Wait, 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 wait. He stirs in too much sugar when he thinks you're not looking. When he's ready, Taylor places it firmly on the counter in front of you. I want someone to do this for me. That sounds great. <gasps> okay, wait. This artwork. Wait. Okay, I'm sorry. It's great. You wrap your hands around the cup to appease him. It is his favorite. Ugh. The one with the obscure pop color reference you never ugh. reference you never understand no matter how many times he explains it. Oh, I, I read that completely wrong. I am so sorry. I'm looking forward to tonight. Did you remember to make the booking? Of course, Blue Ginger, your favorite. Our favorite. I don't like this guy. Why did you choose him? I don't like him. He seems kind of... What's the word? I don't know. There's a word for it, though. He laughs when he corrects you. Like his... You like his laugh. You haven't heard it in a while. Ooh, that's not good. What time... What time should I get there? 
There's something brittle in Taylor's smile as he packs his lunch. He kisses you before he leaves, slowly and steady. Happy two years, my love. Aw, okay. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, my little heart. That's cute. Okay. The house feels lonely without him. You look at your coffee. You want to drink it, but a part of you cowers at the smell, the warmth, the idea of being it inside you. Ooh. Dot, dot, dot. Is that the cup? I don't know. Okay. When you're sure Taylor won't come back, you pour it down the sink. Oh! Hmm. That's depressing! Ugh. I'm sad. It's nice to be- It's nice to be here with you. Thank you for organizing this. The waiter is nonscript when he's- When this- ugh, My brain. The waiter is non- Nondescript when they slide, when they sidle, si I don't know, up to your table. God, I suck. You haven't eaten today. You would like to keep it that way. You sat in the kitchen for hours, watching the day tick by as anxiety gripped you tight, pressed itself into your nerves, and cinepass. I cannot read. I am so sorry. You have to do this for him. You have to try. The menu makes your hands shake, so you hide them beneath the table. Grip the skin of your legs as your stomach clenches. You're doing this for him. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh my god, okay. Taylor orders, oblivious to, to your turmoil. You're good at hiding... You're gooding... <clears throat> you're good at hiding it in plain sight. Oh my god, this is depressing. Oh, little did say I know. The waiter asks you for your order. Pasta, salad, or vegetables. Ooh! I get to choose! I want some pasta. I like pasta. <laughs> I also like salad, but I have it every night for dinner. He smiles, pleased. You don't deserve him. Me. Me every day. You make small talk while you ate. He tells you about work. You update him on Uto. There's an easy... and there's there is an easy intimacy to your exchange while he changes the moment the food arrives. The conversation slutters, strains. You can't keep it up. You can't stop thinking about the food in front of you. You push it around on the plate, attempt to make it appear smaller. You know you're not fooling him, but you try anyway. That's a little creepy. Why am I staring at him eating? I know I should be reading and understanding the context, but what the frick? Okay. You stare at Taylor's plate. The quail carcat... The quail carcass, there you go. <laughs> the quail carcass ripped apart. Blood and butter coagulating beneath the bones. For a long moment you wish you could you wish you could be that open. He saws a piece of breast del indelicately and brings it to his mouth. Meat wet against his lips. You wish you were him. You could lift a fork to your teeth and swallow down parts of an animal. Parts of anything. Feel it heavy in your belly. The weight of something inside you. It makes you sick. You can't stop thinking about the food. Or the lack of food. Or the promise or the promise of food. The smell. The feel of the fat in your thighs pressing together. When you sit down, the fold of your stomach meets your legs. Oh my god. Ugh, this is so sad. You'd be perfectly marbled, white and red under his knife. That's it. Oh no. What's it? He's crying. When you meet his eyes, you're surprised to see he's crying. I can't do this. He stands up from the table, grabs his bag, exits the restaurant without looking back. You're not surprised when he leaves you that night. Oh. No! Did your ceiling always look like that? Hey! Oh, it's Udo. Hey! None of us had heard from you in a while. You okay? Not really. Hey. Ooh! Well, sh should I be me? Or should I be what I want to be? Not really. Hey. I'm fine. <laughs> no, not really. Thought so. I'll be- I'll be around tonight, around 7 with some food. Who can tell- you can tell me your woes. Thanks. Cool! Have a good day! Oh. You wake to the sound of the front door closing. Did you fall asleep again? It can't possibly be seven already. 
Sorry, does this. Oh no, I didn't get to read it! <sighs> blah blah blah, I'm packing the groceries. Your vision swims as you get out of bed. You put your hand to the wall, wait for it to clear. You wonder if it's meant to take this long. Oh. Oh, I like him. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Yudo stands at the counter, half-empty grocery bags laid out in front of him. You can see the shiny red of the capsules... Word. Nestled, <laughs> nestled next to the prepackaged sandwiches. From another of the smell of roast chicken wafts towards you, enticing and disgusting. Hmm. Hey, sleepy. Hey, sleepyhead. How you feeling? Actually, don't answer that. I know you're... F I know... Ugh. I know you're feeling like shit. Sorry to hear about Taylor. I know you really loved him. Oh... I'm... Hmm... You don't have anything to say, so you remain quiet. It remains it reminds you of being in the kitchen with him, voice chattering as he rummaged through cupboards, his warmth in every corner of the room. You want to feel something, but you're empty. Lately you're always empty. I know that you stopped eating when you were stressed, so I brought the basics. Yudo continues, unturbed by your silence. Fruit, veg, chicken, a little of something from the every group to keep you going. Oh man, the smell of chicken's amazing. Do you want some now? No, no thanks. I ate earlier. I'm okay. Oh, okay. I don't want to lie. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to help myself. Is that okay? You nod. It would be rude to say no. You know, um, busies himself ripping into a plastic packaging before reaching into the bag with his small hands. He tells you about his day and he, as he pulls off the herb, herb skin, sets it on the plate, up, updates you on your mutual friend as he twists off a drumstick, a thigh and a muscle, white and pink, greasy against his fingertips. Ooh, that actually sounds disgusting. <laughs> your stomach lurches. You're not sure if it's hunger or fear. Maybe both. All you know is that, is that you want to be sick. Oh my god, this is sad. I'm gonna keep saying it. This is so sad. <sighs> okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Yudo looks unsettled. Half his thigh is gone, and there's a spot of fat on his shirt. I'm worried about you. He said, oh, fuck. I'm worried about you. There you go. He says it softly, like he's half hoping you won't hear it. You reassure him that you're fine. He looks unconvinced, but he changes the subject. It's been a while since everyone's seen you. <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow? Nothing. Great! It's Mia's birthday. You should come. Where is it? At Blue Ginger, your favorite. It's like the air has been stuck, sucked out of your lungs. Panic. You watch them eating. Um, you watching them eat. Them watching you eat. Watching them watching you watching your plate. You can't, 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 you can't. You can't, 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 you get the idea. Jesus! You can't, you can't, you can't. This sounds like me when I'm having a panic attack. Oh, um, I don't think that will work. Wait! No, what? Why? I can't. Uh, sorry. You know his mouth twists. His hands twist. He scrapes his leftovers into a bin and leaves. Oh my god. Ugh, food. You don't remember the last time your fridge was this full. You learned your lesson last time you binged. Rice thin coat and expired condiments. You've been sick for days. Is it really worth it? Yes! Oh. Uh. Did your ceiling always look like that? Am I, am I supposed to notice something different? Because it keeps coming to this. Put your phone away. Message Taylor. Message Judo. Ooh! I can't save, can I? I don't know. <laughs> um. I'm going to. Taylor's a jerk. No. He's not a jerk. I don't know. Why do you leave? We're gonna message him. Hey! I miss you. You stare at the screen for long moments. He does not. He doesn't reply. You need him, but you know that's selfish. You've been selfish for so long that you've forgotten how to stop. You're angry. You're tired. Everything aches, from your stomach to your mouth, to your bones. 
You feel the sheets like lead pressing down against you, suffocating. You can't stay here. Mm. Ooh. You only remember how you got here in, in stolen moments. Her glare across the bar, the way she stole half-empty wine glasses out of people's hands. Vivian. She said her name was... Oh, she said her name was... Voice husky and dangerous. She grabbed your arm and held you close, like a lamb to the slaughter, led you to a taxi. It's what's it, bleh, it's what's your head that's so riveting. Ooh, she's sassy. I love her dress. I wouldn't wear it, but I love it. Vivian swims into view. She's easily the most beautiful person you've seen in real life, but in a cold, perfect way. She has the face of a devil and a mouth of colored wine. Her, her, ugh. Her every gesture polished, every smile cruel, sharp angles and bad intentions. You look like a bird. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to tell someone that. I'm just... Next time I see someone, you look like a bird. Vivian lights a cigarette with practiced ease, breathes in deep, and lets the smoke marinate in her lungs before she exhales. She carelessly flicks the ashes onto the sheets, they grazed your calf while you flinch. She laughs low and mocking. She stubs the cigarette on the bed, bed next to you, close enough to feel the, feel the burn. Am I allowed to show this? Will you sing for me, little bird? Jeez. Uh. Vivian purrs in your ear as she fits, fists your hair. Pulling your head back, you feel scared but excited as she bears your throat, your body an altar, for her for her to feast form. Her fingernails are black and sharp at the points. They leave long red marks down your back, your front, the cell the cellu the uh, the cellulite scars I don't know what that says. Skin of your thighs, you gasp, part pain, part pleasure. You deserve this. You let her take you until there's nothing left. Ah! She strokes the dips between your ribs, kisses the indents under each and every um, vertebrae. You want to be completely empty, whitewashed. When she hurts you, nothing. When she tastes you, nothing. There is just an unfamiliar ceiling in the offering of your body. Ooh. Wow. That got sexual quick. You'll have bruises for weeks. Vivian is smoking again. You don't have the strength to roll over. Little bird, I'm going... Little... Huh, little bird. I'm going to order room service. What would you like? I have to go. <laughs> what? What's the rush, little one? Ugh. I'm sorry, I need to leave. You're still drunk and aching, but you're not going to pull yourself out, out of the bed. You're not sure whose clothes to grab, yours or hers, but in the record of time, you're dressed. The thought of food scares you more than her hidden kind of violence. You're in front of the fridge. Is it just playing static? Oh, Jesus. Okay. You're in front of the fridge. Why are you in front of the fridge? You can feel blood slide down your inner thigh. You're filthy. Ooh. Lettuce or water? I'll eat some lettuce. And water. Water. It'll weigh you down. Oh. But I want to eat lettuce. This is unjustly. Saya wants to eat lettuce. This isn't okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Water. It'll weigh you down. Slosh in your belly. But you're drunk and you're not... And you're allowed this. Surely? Surely. Ooh. Okay, the static went away. We're good. Did your ceiling always look like that? I don't see anything different, so I'm pretty sure it does. Check your phone. Oh, you check your phone. Message Udo, message Taylor, you're tired. Oh, me. I'll message Udo this time. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Stop texting so fast! Uh, I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I just wanted to know how you're doing. Still not sure about this. I haven't seen you in weeks. Where have... Where have you... Can, where have you... Oh, okay. Working. That's a lie. You've been at home, watching your unfamiliar ceiling. <laughs> okay, well, I miss you. I'm here if you need me, okay? No! I hate this! Why 
Why does my computer hate me? I don't want to buy the full version of Bandicamp. <sighs> time stretches, time lags. You're not sure how you got here. You don't remember getting into the car, pulling out of the driveway, navigating the traffic lights near your home. You look down, look up, your vision swims. Your hands shake and slacken, unable to grip grip ugh. unable to grip worn out leather your chest heaves but each breath is shallow agonizing muscles weak lungs weak you're so weak it's not the first time you've passed out at the wheel honey eat <laughs> this isn't okay i feel so bad oh i want to force feed her you don't want to be here the fridge is so cold your skin crawls you want to be nothing but skin and bones and the bare essentials. Oh. No! No! I'm gonna continue clicking it. Why is this not an option? Oh my god, it's so tiny. Did your ceiling always look like that? Oh. You check your phone. There's a message from someone that can only be you, though. You squint, trying to make out the letters. They're fuzzy, unclear. Your fingers feel clumsy whenever you try to type out a word. Your tongue is heavy in your mouth. Limbs feel like lead. Hands fall against the covers. Phone spills on the floor. Oh, no. No! Don't die! Did your ceiling always look like that? Yudo, Yudo was coming today. Oh my god. Uh. Oh shit, I'm in the hospital. Did your ceiling always look like that? Um, no, because you rebuked thee to eat. And I get it, it's like a mental disorder, but like, hunty. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad. I just wanna help. Oh no, they're gonna start feeding her through her stomach. <gasps> no! That can't be it! Uh... Wow. This was a good game. I feel so bad. This is... This is great. Good job. Good... Good job. Who was he? I, I didn't see him. I saw... I didn't see her. I think that's the main character. That was supposed to be me. That's... That's the best friend. That's the... The girl who wanted to get with this chick. That's her ex <laughs> Team Lead, Ryder Gabriella, wow. You guys did great. You probably are never gonna see this video, but you guys did great. Oh my god. I feel... <sighs> my little heart. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I know that was kind of a long playthrough, and it did get all winky-wonky in, like, between... So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be playing 13 more games, because that's how many I have on my wish list. Well, <laughs> I put them there because I don't know where to put them. I shaved, and I got a giant hunk of skin missing on my leg. Again, if you need help, and I know this is super random for me, but, um, if you need help, if you can't eat, if you feel depressed, if you're anxious, come talk to me. I have... A not a Google. I have an email that you can come and message me. If you know me personally, message my phone, Snapchat, Instagram, anything. And I will put the suicide hotline. That is a little extreme for me, but I will put it down there. If it comes to all extremes and you just happen to stumble across my video and you've watched all the way through, I'm just saying, if you need help, there are people out there willing to help. Don't be afraid to talk to someone because everybody's out there. I Trust me, I've been through it. I've been through states of depression, I've done bad things to myself, and I didn't talk to people, and I just, I want you guys to know, whoever's watching, that you're not alone. You're never alone. Even if, like, let's say you're atheist, and I know this is, like, kind of, like, forcing my religion onto you, but, like, God's there. It's always an option, okay? <laughs> and I'll be praying for all y'all. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It got really sad at the end. Oh my god. Anyways, come back next time, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!